Do you not know your opinion about where you should be and what you should be doing and where you are in life can become so influenced by other people that you lose the ability to ever be satisfied? That, that you can always look at somebody who has more this or more that or more the other than you and be, if you're not careful, you can be taunted by their success. You can become intimidated by an assignment that God never gave you. I am not accountable for the gifts he gave to Oscar. Oscar is accountable for the gifts he gave to Oscar. God wouldn't be just to judge me for producing on a lower level than he does when he didn't give me the gifts that he gave him. I am accountable to be a steward of the gifts God gave me. And the gifts that God gave me are not the same gifts that he gave Jamel. It's not the same gifts that he gave Jamar. And it's not the same gifts that he gave you. So why would you look at what God did in my life and belittle what he did in your life because it doesn't look like what he did in my life? If you continue to rationalize by comparing yourself with other people, you're never, ever, 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 ever going to be at peace about anything. Nothing will ever be good enough. Somebody's ice is always going to be cooler than yours. Somebody's going to have a bigger car than you. Somebody's going to have more degrees than you do. Somebody's going to have a smaller shape, a better shape of this or that or the other than you. You have to work with the skin you're in. You got to deal with the cards God gave you and you got to be happy with that or you're going to be miserable all of your life. You cannot become distracted because the distraction is a disorder that robs you from being the best you you can be because you keep trying to put on my suit. You remember when David said, I cannot fight in another man's armor? Do you hear that? He said, I cannot fulfill my destiny if I dress up like Saul. Who are you dressing up like? I want you to look at 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 12 through 14. For we dare not make ourselves of the number. We dare not be the kind of people like the masses of people or compare ourselves with some that commend themselves. So why are we comparing ourselves with some that commend themselves? But they measuring themselves by themselves and comparing themselves among themselves are not wise. He said, we don't want to be numbered like the people who compare others and some that commend themselves, brag on themselves, I'm doing better than you. I have more than you do. I'm better looking than you. I can preach better than you. I can sing better than you. My business makes more money a year than your business does. Our house is bigger than your house. That kind of stuff, Paul is saying. Is Do you not know your opinion about where you should be and what you should be doing and where you are in life can become so influenced by other people that you lose the ability to ever be satisfied? That, that you can always look at somebody who has more this or more that or more the other than you and be, if you're not careful, you can be taunted by their success. You can be, become intimidated by an assignment that God never gave you. I am not accountable for the gifts he gave to Oscar. Oscar is accountable for the gifts he gave to Oscar. God wouldn't be just